in the earlier video i described the four basic temperaments and um, i brought your attention that they have four basic temperaments i talked about the phlegmatic temperament which is also i gave the animal the giraffe the ant or the melancholy I also talked about the choleric, choleric or the lion and the sanguine which is the monkey. If you look at the animals that I have given, the basic characteristics you see in these animals are depicted in those basic temperaments. I will go through one by one and in this video I won't talk about the phlegmatic temperament or I give him the animal character, the giraffe. <clears throat> I will start by talking about uh, basic things that you can be able to pick out if you had a partner who is uh, phlegmatic. One, they are generally faithful marriage partners. You know, they will want to know, to let their partners know that they loved them or they love them through their actions. These actions include like working hard to provide for the family. They are good managers of the household. Spontaneous words or expressions of affection are rare. So if you are married to a phlegmatic, please do not expect that a phlegmatic person will come and tell you thank you you are handsome, you are beautiful, you are good. Those words of affection and expression are very rare. Giraffe partners are quiet by nature and they usually talk very little. See, if your partner does not talk much, the person could be phlegmatic. So they keep, they hide the emotions. And therefore, it is very difficult for the partner or the spouse to know what's, what's going on inside them. They often, they will give an impression that they are rather critical. They lack communication and they also lack responsiveness. And this would lead the partner to being starved. Of, for the affection and the feelings of companionship. So if you are married to a person who is phlegmatic, most of the time these guys might go out clubbing with their partners or get mipangos or get other people because from their partner they are not getting that affection that they are looking for. They are not getting that which they, they want to get from the companionship. These partners, they do not become very emotional and usually are easy to get along with. They are very good listeners. And um, seldom will they express their own ideas. But one-on-one, -on -one, they are good in conversation. They rarely become depressed. They are usually calm. They are usually reliable, especially during a crisis. In fact, the best of these four temperaments, if you are a partner who is phlegmatic, sorry, phlegmatic, you are more likely to go through this crisis because they are very reliable. Normally, this is a weakness. They leave the decision making to others and if they can't they often delay making that decision and they hope that that decision you take care of itself the giraffe partners husbands they tend to avoid taking leadership roles and responsibility in their homes and this responsibility is shouldered by the wife 
if you have a phlegmatic husband you might find that the home lacks leadership which is needed for the entire family life an example in the bible of a person who was phlegmatic was abraham this is our father of faith he was a giraffe who tried to maintain peace at any cost at one point in time he compromised by taking Hagar as a wife and gave his God-given inheritance to also to his nephew Lord. However, we see that God was able to transform his character and later became the father of faith, who was even willing to give away his own son in order to obey God. So this is something very good. Thank you for listening.